I'm Jim Hayes. My introduction to prostate cancer came back in 1995. I had a cousin diagnosed with prostate cancer and he suggested I should get a PSA test. I did this, it was 3.3, which the advice at the time was that's fine for a man of your age, don't worry about it. The GP was not particularly enthused about PSA testing. He believed in the DRE, so I had the digital rectal examination for the next few years, and that went on until 2006, at which time one evening I had a very sharp pain in the back which continued all night. Uh, the next day I went to the GP and was sent for various blood tests and scans and the results came back. The PSA was 260. The scans suggested uh, cancer and the final bone scan showed that the cancer had spread beyond the prostate into the bones and particularly concentrated areas in the L5 vertebra which had caused pain and in the sternum. At that stage there's not many options in the treatment. Uh, it's hormone therapy and the only real choices are between the ways in which that's administered and after initially having that in tablet form, uh, which proved to be impairing the liver function, uh, I've subsequently been on three monthly injections of lupine. Initially, the response was excellent, and uh, PSA over the next few years fell down to 0.7, and at that stage, we discontinued the treatment briefly. PSA rose very rapidly. On resumption of the treatment, PSA initially fell, but then steadied out, and in the about two years since then has been rising steadily. So this means the cancer has become resistant to the hormone treatment, and there are not many options left after that. Uh, we're not too sure what the uh, subsequent outcomes will be, but uh, uh, the initial estimate of life expectancy was uh, three to 12 years. We're now into about four and a half years since the diagnosis. So we're just continuing on at this stage and watching development. Thank you, Jim. Um, Jim, what would you say to those out there that uh, are not sure about possibly having PSA testing done at an earlier age that they seem to say is recommended at 50 and now have lowered that to 40? What, what would you say to those fellows? I would highly recommend that you have regular testing and keep track of it. Uh, if you do have the misfortune to be diagnosed with prostate cancer, the earlier it's detected, the more options you have and the better are the chances of a complete cure, which is far better than the sort of palliative care which I've had to have.